Hey there, everybody. We are at Muse Knoxville with this week's Muse Minute, and we are joined with Jen. Jen, what experiment are we doing today? Today, we are making an anemometer using simple things that you can find in your house. And I know you're probably at home thinking, what is an anemometer? Well, an anemometer actually measures wind speed and direction, as you can see it here. This helps meteorologists, again, know which way the wind is coming from when it comes to thunderstorms, when it comes to just where we're going to be seeing either cold air moving in, warm air moving in, helps us a lot when it comes to our daily forecast. And it's a really fun thing that you can do with your kids at home so you can be your own meteorologist. I like it. All right, what ingredients do we need for this experiment? So all you're going to need is some tape, a pair of scissors, a light ball like a ping pong ball, some string, and if you have it, you can use a protractor. Otherwise, you can print out a template that Muse has on our Facebook page. So cool, how do we do it? What do we do? So, it's really simple. You're just gonna take some of your string and measure out about an eight inch long piece of string, cut it on both ends, and you're gonna tape it and attach it to the top middle part of the protractor. And then you're gonna attach the ping pong ball to the other side of the string, just with another piece of tape. Okay, that is so easy. It's so simple. And then here's how you use it. So you're just gonna hold the protractor at the top middle part, or you can attach it to something fixed outside. And then you're gonna watch as the, the wind moves the ball, capture the ball at the top point where the wind is moving it, and then note the smaller number on the protractor. Once you see what that number is, so mine says about 60, you can flip it over and you can interpret your data on the other side. You can see 60 degrees equals about 16 miles per hour. That is great. Well, you know, we may not get to use this very often in East Tennessee considering our average wind speed is like five miles per hour <laughs> most of the time. But on one of those breezy days, it might be a great idea to do a fun experiment with your kids. Thanks so much, Jen. We'll send it back to you.